2022. This podcast is made for you. Believe everything we say is true. 1722. 1722. Hey, the spider will bring you into. You will feel all his power. The Viking warrior make your guess the wheel around his name in the back of your head. Yeah, you feel the floor again. Unleashing his hell, you are not even here to bail. Maybe you're strong, but you don't stand a chance. Feel the power of the warrior. Fight, 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 fight. Welcome to the 1722 Podcast, where we talk shit about everything, and we don't take shit from nobody. That's a great intro right there, fellas. (laughs) And we're back, just like that. And we're back. (laughs) For those that don't know, because I feel like you're really missing out on something if you don't know the song, that is A Warrior's Call by Volbeat. Very great song. Is it Vol or Volbeat? Because it's an O. I believe it's Vol. And I'm oh, gonna okay. stick with Vol because that's what stick I call with Vol. So the way they sing, I would not be able to tell you that. Yeah, yeah. Scandinavia motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, Mick Gukesla. <laughs> Mick Gukesla. <laughs> yeah, I, I assume that's just Michael in their language. Yeah, yeah. Mickle right. Michael. He's a Viking warrior though. Yeah, one hell of a Viking warrior. The that. best according the to that. The best song. Viking warrior. Mick Gukesla. I'm getting a tattoo one day. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> just <laughs> Mick Gukesla. <laughs> you gotta have that. You gotta have. Oh Mick. yeah, there, and then there'll the be a hyphen. Yeah, and, and Mickle. Hyphen. <laughs> 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 I always forget that that's what that's called. Uh, so yeah, we're back, guys. Hopefully uh, you didn't miss us, but you probably did not. They <laughs> they missed us. Uh, well, here's the thing. They don't miss us because we give them so much every Sunday. That's true. We give you a whole day. But see what would happen if we stopped putting the show out. And then how many people would be like, man, I missed it. Like, well, where were you, motherfucker? Mm-hmm. You weren't there while releasing it. They tune into the surprises, <laughs> though. Yeah. Which we throw them off with something that isn't an episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that means that you got to put out a sex tape and then you're going to get thousands of views then. Sure. That ain't no problem. I got Definitely. That's, what, that's how it's going to mm-hmm. work. <laughs> 1722 needs a sex scandal. Yeah. I, I want this to work out so bad. Somebody please leak one of somebody, my sex tapes. Yeah. Somebody hacked an email of mine whenever I was in like my high school email where I had like a bunch of news and shit sent to that shit. Oh, God damn. I was unfortunate like everybody else to have picture messaging on my phone. So I used to be like, hey, yo, girl, send that to my email. <laughs> so, yeah. And then one day I couldn't get back in that motherfucker. Like, I tried to get in there and it's like, uh, we're going to send a verification code to your phone. And the number the number and the digits to start off is 054. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Oh, so I'm God just damn. waiting. I am just waiting for... For that shit to just explode when they be like, oh my god. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> Tyus is like the number one actor yeah. in the world and all of a sudden you see a picture when he's like 16. <laughs> yeah. If them shits come out, I might get I might get hired. Might have to leave this whole thing behind. Yeah. So I was kind of a super freak back then. <laughs> you know say, if you saying? become a porn star, I had, I mean, I had a lot of, you know, no, no, fuck it, fuck it. This ain't that type of... Say the type of oh, ordeal. Yeah, we'll yeah about, it is. Hell yeah. About, you know what I'm saying? I had a lot of, I had a lot of anger. You know what I'm saying? I, if you, okay, so he wants expanding, so, expanding, expanding the mind. I used so to set so my, like, like, my phone up a lot. So you Tyus like angles, wants but to become a porn star. Uh, I have I have a lot of I have manager. a lot of weird like sex tape stories, but you know, say sure, I don't give a fuck. I'll be your fluffer. I'll yeah, there you go. Guy. You go in there and you gotta be like, <laughs> yeah. all right, Tyus, you ready? You ready? <laughs> okay, there you go. And then. <laughs> Like, yeah. If so, you don't know, hold on, hold yeah, on. I'm, if you guys I'm don't chill, know, I'm a chill dude. Now. I'm if you don't, me, but. if you don't know, that's what a fluffer is. It's the dude who gets the guy jacked up before he fucks. Yeah. Because the women don't do it. There's I'll no the balls and shit. There's no such thing as a woman fluffer. It's all men. Yeah, that's what's crazy. That's so what I'm I'll do it. We're friends. Yeah, with that if he's making said, money, I better make something. <laughs> if some yeah. shit was to ever come out, <laughs> I did not do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, but my question that I've been trying to get out for the past two minutes is. Talk about angles. We're not talking the angle of balls, We're talking dick going into a vagina, because that's the worst angle of all time. We were time. just talking about that today. Yeah, we I'm are sorry. talking about that. Oh, uh, no fucking <laughs> way. Uh, this is for no. me. Fuck yeah. everybody else. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm saying fuck the, 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 the angle. The angle, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I will immediately turn off... you. Uh, yeah, but yeah. I will turn off any sex tape of any kind. As soon as I don't see a face, I'm out. Yeah, it immediately. is the most unsexy thing of all time. Yeah. Like, just staring at these balls just, yeah, just going <laughs> fucking wild. And then people are like, dude, I'm not gay. Dude, you're jacking off 
the balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Yeah, you're jacking nothing. off to nuts right there. Right. So, yeah. yeah, you're not seeing, like, you barely see an ass. Mm-hmm. You and see you're, you're seeing more, more male ass than you're seeing female ass. Right. So, I hear vocals. I had the I had the experience as you as you like this like yeah. <laughs> so like I said it's for me it don't matter no that's what I'm saying but it we're was saying, it was for me I ain't if, I mean yeah I guess maybe if the angle was of me then I'd be like oh this ain't so bad but we're talking about what you both have filmed yeah is leaked right I it's have, not anything else I have so. filmed a lot of shit that's yeah, what yeah, we're yeah. talking about same. you know what I'm saying I, I just, know not that angle though I know but I'm saying if he has that. I had you that. Can. I don't have shit. I know, but I'm saying if it gets leaked, you can't do shit about it. If it's if it's leaked, I don't know where it is. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But you can't go back like, hey, that angle didn't happen. Like, yeah, I did. If you did it, it's out there, right? right. But obviously, I, I don't. It's right. like I right. am right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, here, first of all, let's just be honest. I'd be livid if something in mine got leaked and it wasn't my face. I'm like, so people can actually wonder if this is me or not. Now, if it's getting leaked, I want you to know they it's would me. know. They would know. <laughs> Why? Because a insulin pump. Oh, true. No and the porn biggest star fat pad they've ever seen. As soon as anybody on the face of this earth is going to see a sex tape and then uh, insulin pumps on it on a chubby guy, they're like, oh, that's Blake. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> immediately. Anyone who knows you, they're going to be like, damn, this is Blake's sex tape. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah, well, that cocky to put my face in any of them. No, yeah. Nor, well, nor, nor well, that's the, the thing. Face neither. A man's face should never grace a sex tape of any kind. Yeah. yeah. It should never grace a porno. Like I said today, and I'm going to get it back into it again. You're fucking weird if you know a porn star's name and it's a male. You're fucking weird. You Whoa. should not know it by heart. You should be like, yeah, uh, I think I've seen it. A straight but you male. should not. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. A straight yeah. male. You should not be like, oh, yeah, so this dude, this dude, this dude. That Like, no fucking way. If, you're, if you know a male porn star, you got bigger problems at hand. Unless you're gay, then hey. Fuck them, yeah, that's why right? I said we're, we're talking Fuck about those dudes, right? Yeah, it's fucking You go weird. straight ahead. I mean, I found out who Johnny Sins was just because of Call of Duty, so, you know. Right. It's not yeah. my fault. There's, there's, that's what we're saying. But there's you, a, there's a way of knowing yes. who these dudes are because but yeah, I've you never watch seen, porn. I've never seen like, a video of this motherfucker ever in my life. Okay, but, if you go to Pornhub, are you typing in Johnny Sins? Fuck no. That's what I'm saying. Yes, thank you. I would if never. I told, if I tell motherfuckers I was typing, I'm going to put y'all on game because we like homemade shit over here, but I yeah. don't See, gonna, thank you. I ain't gonna, I ain't, you know. Production, bag. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Production was the worst thing to happen to porn. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. that's actually probably where it started. Though. No, no, no. I'm saying like full production. When you, like when you're seeing a dude get blown or whatever, and then there's these lights, there's cameras, there's people in the back oh, that are yeah. taking camera, like pictures. No, I know, but I'm saying. And they're writing, you. like, I, mean, the I hate that. I mean, always the cameramen, been homemade, the cameramen are the ones that, they ruin that shit. They make it terrible. Yeah, ugh. Oh, there you go. You like that shit, baby. Yeah. Oh, you like that I heard, shit. There's one that's called yeah. a, uh, a Baltimore <laughs> dude. I don't know, like, his name, but he always comes across pornos I watch. Oh, I know yeah. exactly. And he's like, hey, you want to nice. suck this dick? Or, uh, and I'm like, no, <laughs> yeah. again with this fuck. If I hear a dude, see a dude's face, yeah. I immediately change the video. I don't care what the woman looks like. Yeah. It completely turns me off. That's another thing, Ty. That's what we got to talk about because we and you are talking about today. And then we can get off porn or whatever. But if you watch porn, right? Well, not if, when you do. And you, do you like to see a woman's face? Because I did not, or I found this out, the number one porn search is neck down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay? So people only look up shit that's like tits, ass, you know, vagine, the knees, the feet, all that. Uh, I can't imagine it. If there's not a face in a porno, I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> okay. So, I have, like, I mean... Folks will lie, whatever, but you'll, you'll share some weird shit on the internet about some porn, so be honest with yourself, but I got a list of of, of porn stars that I like or whatever, so mm -hmm. of course I like their face. Today. Thank you. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I simple. don't understand it. Like, it doesn't make sense to me at all. How yeah, do you no, the, watch it without the a, face, a woman's face? The face, to me, is everything. Like, yeah. it makes or breaks the entire situation. Mm -hmm. uh, and even if, like, the body's great, but I don't see the face, I'm not interested. Mm -hmm. It's the same as, like... I don't like when the face is covered up. If they've got a mask on, or if they're covered in leather, COVID or was the shit. worst porno oh, experience yeah, it's ever. So subtly being racist right now. Oh, uh, Blake doesn't like Taliban porn. Oh, I don't know what we're saying. <laughs> you don't like you don't like you don't like women with the mask on, with the hijabs. 
The, the, the you don't like things. the you don't like the COVID you don't like the COVID sex on there. Oh no, I, that's oh. what I, that's what I said. I don't like the COVID sex because <laughs> 2020 porn was oh. terrible. Well, I mean, if I'm calling out for being racist, I'm going to be 100 percent honest. It's my fucking podcast. I like American porn. I like English porn. I like to know exactly what's going on. I like to hear the woman have fun where I understand. Oh it. my god. You don't one like of my suck. favorite. One of my favorites is a Spanish woman, and I don't know what the fuck she be talking about. And, I don't, and, the, and the crazy thing is, I ain't even really like a guy who is one of like the fake things, and I can't honestly tell if like her shit's fake or not because she works out a lot. But mm. well, but, dirty talk. Yeah, damn, dirty talk is my biggest fetish. Yeah, hands down. So if that if I can't understand. What are we doing here? No, like, yeah, but that's I mean, the I whole don't fucking mind it if point. If she's saying it in another language and the other motherfucker isn't saying anything, like, it's just kind of like, it's, it's like if if I was to date a Spanish chick or whatever, and she just randomly busted that shit out just because like it's great to her. I mean, I think watching dirty talk in another language where I don't understand it is the equivalent of going to a strip club and you can't touch anybody. That's what you look for, though. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. I'm yeah. talking about and not to mention dirty talk. Is bullshit nowadays because it's always fucking dirty talk. It's never like, yeah, you know what? The, the number one dirty talk that I want is a hand job when she's talking, a blow job when she's fucking slurping on it. Then she goes to talk. Right. That's the shit I want. Yeah, I don't I do. want you to be fucking roundhouse girl or whatever the fuck it is, cowhouse, where your face is that way and then you're just saying fuck me. That's not dirty talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're a whore. No, yeah. I'm joking. But like. <laughs> Dirty talk is when you're, like, having a conversation that's sexy. Right. When it's a cuckold, and she's like, yeah, I fucked eight guys yesterday. I- I've come 30 seconds in. Because it's like, yeah, there we go. There we fucking go. <laughs> if a woman is sucking you off, and she's like, yeah, so I went, to, I went to the grocery store today. They did not have my lettuce. I am blowing. <laughs> blowing already. That's what I'm saying. Because that's the shit. It's, that's it's real. It's building a scene. Yes. It's building a story. It's authentic. If a woman's just like, oh, fuck me. Yeah. Fuck me! I I, I tune <laughs> out. I tune out immediately because yeah, it's no. fake shit. No, I like both. In yeah. real life, though, in real life is uh, different. That's, that's but yeah, I'm saying I'm on, on porn. Me, I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, if expect- anything's happened to me, a woman could punch my nuts in the middle of sex, <laughs> which has happened, and I'm like, yeah, there we go. You know, meet me outside, and you're a fella. Then we're not gonna, you know, fuck around. But right. yeah. But yeah, that's what we talk about on the podcast. It's probably the most sexual we've ever gotten on here. Who gives a fuck? No, no, that's why I'm just pointing out how funny it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, first of all, we live in 2022, 20, baby. Mm-hmm. And you're supposed to be honest and open about your sexuality and yeah. whatever. And we're three grown-ass men who should be allowed to talk about sex. And I'm going to talk about sex if I want to talk about sex. Because mm-hmm. it's something that everybody fucking does. doesn't matter what race, what gender orientation everybody fucks do uh buddhists still do they fuck oh yeah monks don't fuck or monks sorry fuck, yeah. yeah monks do they like because they can't eat right or what do monks do <laughs> <laughs> uh they pray a lot they pray i can't remember if they're the ones that can't fuck because apparently nuns can i thought nuns couldn't they apparently they can do stuff but they can't like do other things like, there's certain stuff nuns can do. Like, I don't know if it's just, you know, they can... I feel like the first or what, nun there right? ever was, the priest was like, we want to make you, you know, something special mm-hmm. in the church. And she was like, well, how much sex can I have? None. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that would be a good name for you guys. You know what? None. You're all nuns now. Oh, man. That is so fucking funny. I wonder when the first nun was made. Because, like, how long has that been a profession? Or is it even a profession? Shit, I'll Google it. Look up, is nun a profession? And how long has it been out? Because, like, do you get paid to the be a nun? The first nun is what I'm going to Google. First, okay. I like that. Because I don't know. It's like, uh, do you get paid to be uh, a... That vape smells fucking delicious, by the way. It, uh, Sorry to cut you off, but yeah, I... Yeah, in the middle that. of a pod, you see how professional this no, guy is? No, it's... I'm the pod is supposed to be just hanging out. I'm so. joking. Okay, Jack Black, calm down. <laughs> 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 but um, I will hit you guys, which I know you've probably seen it in the news. Elon Musketeer has bought Twitter for $44 billion. Mm-hmm. Um, To go into a little bit more detail about that, give me just one second. We're going <laughs> to... Both of you... <laughs> Looking up two different topics. <laughs> I, got, I found mine quicker though. It says Twitter accepted billionaire Elon Musk's damn, that's so hard to say. Offer to purchase the sus- 
the social media company for around forty-four billion on Monday, and he announced his fifty-four dot twenty per share bid for the company on April fourteenth. But what he said he wants to do is bring like free speech back to the app or whatever, which is kind of crazy because you never know what could come about of that shit. Well, here I can. Well, I don't have Twitter. I know you do. Most people do still, but it seems like most of the cancellations that people have, like when they get canceled, it's from Twitter, right? Like it says, seventy percent of uh, breaking news comes out on Twitter. Yeah. So right. yeah. So speaking my thing, of breaking news, yeah. the nuns, uh-huh. first one that of record was in six fifty eight. What the fuck? Yeah, third century. Her name, uh-huh. Charlemagne. Is that why he's named Charlemagne the God? I got a question, though. Charlemagne the Nun! I got another question. So, like, whenever we get older, and it's like 20, it's like 2050, yeah. are we going to say back in the 20s? I mean, I will be. I, you know that I'm going to fucking milk. I'm like, back in, <laughs> back in my time, 2005. Like, like whoa! In the 20s. Yeah. Early 2000s. Oh, that's weird. I never thought about that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah so back in the 2030s, uh, back when in Prohibition, uh, and it'd be like, you know, just a Yeah, but you wouldn't thing. say 2000. You would just be like the 20s. But then, because no, we've been wouldn't. alive for so long, which 20s would you be talking about? Exactly. We would. We would all you? have to say 2030s, just like we have to say the 2010s. I feel like you'd have to understand, like, they... they I mean, then I feel like you don't have to do the math to like look at us and be like, "Oh yeah," when they talk about the twenties, they're talking about the twenty twenties, not the. 1920s. Well, that's true because we're in twenty fifty. Yeah. So, fun fact about a nun? Yeah, the oldest living person happens to be a French nun. How, How old? old is she? One hundred eighteen. Is still that living today? Tatain Tatanka or whatever. Well, somebody needs to go find her because I think they're lying about the oldest person in the Guinness World Record book. Mm-hmm. They say a person that turns a hundred on social media is the oldest person every year. Yeah, and it's stupid as hell. <laughs> Well, there's an island. <laughs> this is Lucille Randon. Hey, shout out Lucille Randon. You're the, you're the goat. Apparently, there's an island in, like, uh, Japan or something where the average person is over 100. Like, there's more people over 100 on that island than there are people below where? 100. Uh, it's like Okinawa, Japan or something. Gotta found the youth over there. Yeah. Man. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Other countries besides America live long. Americans have, or Americans have this such, like linear thought now of like oh you only live to 80 you know you can't make it and then all these other countries are like yeah my grandpa was 106 when he died right my grandma was 111 you're just unhealthy and disgusting it's weird how we technically which i know i'm talking about, on so. average americans usually live a more comfortable life mm-hmm. than other countries but because of all of our processed foods and shit like that we tend to die quicker mm-hmm. even though you would think because of how insane it is in other countries at times, that they wouldn't live as long. But yeah, like they, for some reason, it's like eating a pig off of like a radiator in Dubai is still healthier than eating a McRib. Yeah, yeah. and that's insane to me. Right. Like, honestly, I would try it if we ever got sent to another country for like a comedy special or something, and we're in you know some. Place with huts, you know. Shout out huts, we love you. Pizza we have right. fans in the huts, but I 100 percent would try a steak that's like cooked on like an ashtray or something. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, I would try food from there. But if you're talking like they serve the whole pig, and I have to see the pig, no, I'm not. I didn't say pig. Day. I just meant meat. Oh, well, you said pig on. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, but like, it would what do you mean if they're putting peacock, you're gonna eat it? Oh yeah, no. I mean, no. yeah. Even in America, like if someone. Offers me something I haven't tried. I'm going to try it at least once. Mm-hmm. Have you guys ever been to the International Festival here? Like, whenever it was, like, downtown, like, where the capital oh, is. Yeah, yeah, no, I was Before it trying. moved to the square or whatever. Mm-mm. Oh, man. I remember me and my family used to go to that shit all the time. And they used to have, like, different types of food and stuff like that. And all kind of cool shit you could buy. And, like, these cool ass, like, slushies and shit. Man. Yeah. We were uh, too poor, so just that. We were like, can we go? What and it happens this summer, free. we'll do a 17 All you got to do is walk around. You didn't have to buy nothing. That's the thing, is we would tell our parents down there, too. Like, no, you know, we don't have the gas. Like, it's literally a free walkthrough. Everyone we know is going to do that. And as a that. kid, it seemed so massive. But yeah. now, when I look at, when I circle the Capitol and shit, like, I was like, damn, bro. Like, yeah. this was... Well, I mean, even when I it used to happen... In, I watched the play in the Capitol, and... I mean, I would love to go back in there. I ain't even gonna lie. I'd probably love to go back and watch a play. Yeah, because I haven't in so long. I'm yeah, uh, I mean, there's plays that like happen downtown, right? 
Huh? There's plays that still happen downtown like every week. Oh, I thought they just did like they do uh, at the Capitol Center, at the Sky Pack, yeah. and at the Phoenix Theater. Mm-hmm. Whatever one where like we can get like nice little seat. I don't care. I just don't want to be front row. I don't like being front row at a stage. You said the Phoenix Theater. Mm-hmm. Shit, I love to go back to that. I know, <laughs> just because I dance mean. there. Yeah. Oh, is that where your dance was? Yeah. Oh yeah. shit. Classy. You know, yeah. apparently they do comedy. Oh shit. So if we can uh, get our show up and running and do our live tour, do shows there too. Go to Tidballs, go to everywhere else, you know. Everyone's going to want us regardless. Yeah. Eventually, we're going to own the place. Oh, yeah, well, we're on bowling right now. I'm going to get the key to the city, and I'm going to lock it. Can you imagine if we had a key to the city? Mm-hmm. I mean, I would 100%, they wouldn't give it to me. They'd give it to you two. Like, we're be, not giving Austin a key to the city. I'd probably be the first to be able to think, like, what, do you have anything you want to say about this? And we're like, yes, what do I do with this? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know I, what it does. Is it a, true? Are you going to give me a big ass? ass? Are you going to give me a big ass? Like, what comes with this? Do I get something with it? I, I, I get it. I get the key to the city, but it's symbolic. That, that is that that is bragging rights. Like, you want me to pretty much have a big dick from here on out and tell people yeah. I got the key to the city? Because you're not going to tell people I got a key to the city. You're not going to give me a statue <laughs> to lay when I got what, the key to the city. Not even the key. Where's the lock to the city? <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's a big ass lock that if you lock it, no one's getting in or out of Bowling Green. Like, it makes no sense to me, whatsoever. Hmm. But I won't lie. I like that we're talking about this because it has me. I've been thinking, what's the point of when a celebrity has a day? But yeah, I was just about to say that. That's crazy. I was about to say that's what usually comes with them getting the key. Yes. They get the day. They get the key, and then the next time they come or they do something bigger, they're like, "Hey, today is George Clooney Day." Which, but just today, I'm gonna take it just to see how it will plan out the yeah. year afterwards. Do you get and a key have... to the city once you've donated a bunch? No, and you're like... from the city, like. It's right. like, uh, let's say we're, okay, we're from... You have to be, like, the biggest milestone. Like, let's say times. this becomes, like, a, let's say 1722 becomes a hot spot for podcasting, comedy, mm-hmm. actors, people start coming to Bowling Green because of this, right? Which it will happen, so mark my words. But we would get a key to the city because we put Bowling Green on the fucking map. We were the ones that, like, blew it up, you know, that type of shit. Yeah, bring more, like, right. notoriety type Wouldn't of Wouldn't be surprised like, if, like, Hillbilly Jim has one, to be quite like, honest with you. Houston pretty much gave Travis Scott, like, a key to the city. But I'm yeah. just saying, yeah. knowing how the government works, mm-hmm. I find it hard to believe that they wouldn't do it without getting something in return from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, That's over time, they've probably donated to the city, to charities, all this shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then it's basically like, oh, well, now we're stroking your ego. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. But it doesn't really do anything. No. Because it's like the Hollywood Walk of Fame. When you're a kid, you're like, oh, the Hollywood, wow, that's that's so cool. You get to, you know, you get to put your hands in. You get to write your name. But it's like, yeah, but you don't earn it. I mean, yeah, you, they put the, you pay for that. They put the event of you getting the key or whatever on the news or whatever, yeah. I guess, to try to bring more people in this city to you. But, I mean, around here, you probably just get nothing because folks just hate it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a strange thought, though. Like, I mean, I don't even know if that shit still happens. Honestly, if, yeah, I mean, as as weird as it sounds, I probably wouldn't even want it. Well, <laughs> just funny thought, though. Were people getting keys to the city during the pandemic lockdown? No. Mm. That's pretty it. ironic, if so. Yeah. Huh. That, that would be my perfect time. Like, yeah, I'm so special. I got a key. When everything was locked up, so <laughs> fuck what you heard. It's a ceremony without anybody there. <laughs> yeah, everyone's on computers. <laughs> oh god damn, that was a terrible time. You missed the pandemic? We do too. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I no still, secret how much we love the pandemic. I yeah, I worked through the whole thing, but I mean, I didn't really mind it because I just meant like the vibe. Yeah, of the I was pandemic. About to say there was yeah. nobody on the fucking road. Yeah. There was nobody in the fucking store. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was a limit of people who could be in the store. And I'm like, this is what the fuck I'm talking about. Yes. This is meant for a motherfucker like me. Like The pandemic was the only time in my life that I can think of where I could say that I was happy and I wasn't lying about it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wasn't putting on a brave face. Yeah, you know, no. 20 people in Walmart type shit. And I was like, yes. It was beautiful. Fuck yeah. Obviously, you know. We had to wipe our ass with like newspaper and rags and towels because people were fucking taking... Toilet paper, but everything else is pretty fucking nice. Right. Pretty nice. Until that stimulus kicked in, because we were one of the lucky ones. That is true. So. Getting just ounces and ounces of apples every week was the best part of it. Never ran out of apples. I love Stimmy. Shout out to Stimmy. I reaped the benefits still today because of you. A lot of stuff because of the Stimmies. I got a lot of stuff off those. Yeah. 
most yeah, technically some of my stuff mm-hmm. as well. I, didn't think about that. I think I've had to sell all my stuff uh, to, to recoup. But hey, if I if I didn't have that shit, probably wouldn't be you know surviving. So yeah, shout out to the semi. My PS4. From the oh so shit, that's true. That's something I get to play with my friends. Oh, because of the stemmy. Oh, speaking of that, thanks Trump. <laughs> uh, fuck, I can't remember what I was gonna say. Yeah, can't remember. What, but fuck it. I'm going to go what I was going to talk about. This week, I have become a back pocket guy, and I don't know why. <laughs> That's weird. I hate it. Yeah. I mean, okay, I'll say this, this. Every day, I have grabbed something, and then I just naturally just have it, just put it in my back pocket, and then I'm like, why? I've never done that in my life until now. I'll put, like, my keys and my vape in my back pocket while I'm working. Yeah. Because I'm standing up, but, like, if I'm sitting down won't do it mm-hmm. uh even if i'm like walking around the store or something i won't do it yeah it's only my phone in my back pocket a lot oh that's true you do do that yeah that's about it yeah that's true but i've never done it in my life because like dad you know we come from a massive city that's extremely dangerous yeah so dad would always be like nothing ever in your back pocket but he carries his in his back pocket now but not when we were kids oh he always had it on his side. Right. So, like, I was... I remember that being burned into our brain, and, like, even to this day, I, I don't think I've ever put my wallet in my back pocket, ever. No, I've never put my wallet Unless in it's on accident or on my wallet or something. My huge to fit in my back pocket. Hey, here we go. Stacks. That motherfucker's huge. That motherfucker's bulging out right now. Hey, he's got money. I ain't got stacks well, on deck yet, but <laughs> you're gonna see it eventually. You will. So. With all of our Fortnite clips? Come on, we're gonna be <laughs> professionals. <laughs> Yeah, hey, I'll blow up on Twitch. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, say we really do need to invest in like a seventeen twenty two gaming Twitch or something. Yeah, because you know we've been. Uh, I mean, I don't give a shit if anyone else can't see it, but playing Fortnite lately has probably been one of the funnest experiences I've at least had on video games in recent memory. Yeah, it's been very fun because we have not. Uh, and we want to share it with you. Yeah, exactly. So check out our fucking social media. All right, we have Instagram, we have TikTok, we have Facebook, YouTube, we have Shorts. Right? We have a Twitter, I think. I'm not sure about a Twitter. We have a but Twitter. Not active. Not yeah. active, true. It's, but it's there. we all have social media. We're on everything. So check us out. You know, And share it with your friends. There's a word that a lot of people who watch this don't know. And it's okay. Because, you know, a lot of people may not know it anymore. But you need to. And it's called share. Okay? Sharing helps the pod. And, and it's really, that, that's the point of it all. You can't share the memes that we put our hard or blood and money into our heart and soul. Shout our out heart Huey Lewis and soul? In the news. Hey, shout out Huey Lewis in the news. <laughs> My God, that man is success. I've been on a, a heavy kick. I know you have sports. Yeah, I love everything Huey Lewis has ever put up. Oh, well, I gotta ask you then, what's better, Huey Lewis in the news sports or modern baseball sports? Well, modern baseball, but I do love Huey Lewis. In the okay, news. I was gonna say you're really gonna be dicey on this one. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, thank God. Yeah. I was honestly more befuddled that you would even disrespect me by asking me. I was trying to take that in before I could. And I'm more flabbergasted that you used the word befuddled. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, interesting music fact, I guess. Not yeah. really music fact, but music news. You know the band that Post talked about the night that he was on the podcast? I don't remember anything Post talks about when he's here. Okay, well, the. <laughs> Okay, the, uh, the, uh, the girl that the punk band she pissed on the person oh uh, yeah on stage or whatever. Yeah. Well, that band is opening up for Tool, and holy crap, Tool put a picture up on the stage and it said "No P Zone." <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. Oh my god, ah, uh, that is hundred hundred percent something you would do. Yeah, not pee on someone, but you put that sign up. Right. Yeah, this is a no splash zone. <laughs> you know, please. You have like someone there. The you got to cut the tension. Yeah, with a joke. It's the best way to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, and there's some bands that are cringy with them. Right. I hate when a band is trying to be funny in between songs, and then they'll you can tell that the crowd's laughing because they're awkward. Right. Oh my. There's God. some bands that can really do it though. Yeah, for sure. Like uh, Bowling for Super Funny People. Right. No Effects is known for it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, you know, a lot of bands that. I've been to don't really do that. Yeah, usually metal bands do. Metalcore bands, they're either praying, <laughs> which hey, by the way, metalcore, no one gives a fuck about your prayers, okay, at all. No one there at the crowd is praying with you ever. No one's raising their fucking hands with you, yeah. and if they are praying with you, they're only doing it because they feel forced to. So stop <laughs> fucking doing it, right? Right. 
Well, it's just funny because most people that are into metalcore, like even if they're into Christian metalcore, yeah. they're not necessarily there for the Christian value of Thank it. They just you. like the music. Yeah. However, I have been to shows where I see someone praying with the person, or after the show they walk up and ask the guy if they can pray with them. They're going <laughs> yeah. through something hard or whatever. Because um, I have a picture on my Facebook mm. still of a dude asking Haste the Day to pray with him after a show, and I was just like, oh, well, that's cool to see the yeah. connection there or whatever. Yeah. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't find that people that are moshing for, you know, seven songs straight, I don't see them being like, man, I gotta stop and pray real quick. Yeah, man, I'm gonna really get the Holy Ghost in here tonight. <laughs> it's not happening. You're not gonna go see Beartooth, or Day to Remember, or whatever. Well, they're not Christian, but whatever the fuck. And you're not gonna get the Holy Ghost. And if you do, hey, you know, fuck off. That's awesome. That's amazing that you did. But I find that hard to believe. There's no fucking way. That you can get an elbow to the face. And all of a sudden start speaking in tongues in 98 degree weather while dust and dirt's flying everywhere. No way. I mean, I could believe that I would start speaking in tongues at a metal show before I would in church. That's more believable to me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, right as soon as the break that goes, buzz, da, 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 da. Like, <laughs> that would be fucking sick. Oh my god. I mean, I won't lie, the thought of speaking in tongues as an adult now, I'm like. I used to defend it, legitimately, like, I defended it hard, but now I'm like, come on, why, try, try go speaking like that, go, go to the other people in the church, because you guys are claiming it's a language, go to Sister Anne, and go, well, yeah, they, they 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 believe that the connection happens when you're in the spirit, exactly, so they're in the spirit world, okay, in their mind, but it's like, bitch, we see you, we hear you, right. but no one can decipher what you're talking, it's not a language. You're putting it in, oh, it's the spirit because it's a fucking, like, figurehead. You want to put a cloak over our fucking eyes, but get the fuck over yourself. Well, I just don't believe anyone was speaking in tongues until someone started that. Yeah. I don't think that's what naturally happens. No. Because if that's the case, mm -hmm. you're telling me that you're so conceited <laughs> yeah. that you believe that this small number of people that speak in tongues are the only Christians in the world mm -hmm. because Baptists don't speak in tongues. No. Catholics don't. Mm -mm. Lutheran. No. Nope. Methodist. No. Nope. You know, the list goes on. Yeah, put them on a list. No, I, yeah, and I hate you all. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's just funny to me how this, like, certain specific groups yeah. will be like, no, we have the connection to God and he speaks through us. Like, but I'm Christian too. No, you don't have, you don't have it like us. Like, yeah. okay, but it's, it's Christianity though. Right. So if you're with God and I'm with God, and we're all just, you know, in a clusterfuck with God. Right. I didn't know that Christianity was like Patreon, working on a tier system. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know there was clicks that God is like, no, I don't fuck with the greasers, but I fuck with the, you know, the pushpin kids or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I fucked it up. But still, you know, I don't get it either. Life goes on, I guess. Life goes on. If you're a Christian, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any problem with a Christian. I have a problem with religion. Yeah, exactly. And you'll find that throughout the podcast, because mm -hmm. I've talked about it a million times, and I will continue, because I have a yeah, message it's like, push. if you're if you're a Christian, we're fine. But, if you're if you're a redneck, you're, you're pretty shitty. But if you're country, we fuck with you. Right. There we go. It's all about extremism. Mm -hmm. I don't like extremism of any kind. No, of any fucking kind. Like, Even like extreme, we can talk about something that's not like that. Wrestling fans. Extreme wrestling fans are the fucking worst. That's what I'm saying. People that live and die, and you can't even be like, yeah, so uh, Triple H, and then they're like, man, so Triple H, he had this match, and he's a dick backstage. And it's like, I'm just talking, man. Right. Like, st why is your whole personality wrestling? Everything you think about, you talk about, like, the only shit that you want to argue about is one thing? That's ridiculous. You gotta have, you gotta have other shit to you than one thing in life. Right. And that's all And, and it, it doesn't matter stuff. what you're talking no. about. Because, like, first of all, no matter what you're into, chances are the people are assholes. Because, I hate mm -hmm. to break it to you, but people are assholes. It doesn't yeah. matter what, you know, you're into. Mm -hmm. Like, it's going to happen. Like, your boss is probably an asshole. Why yeah. do you think that people who run the world or make way more money than the person you know isn't going to be an asshole? Your favorite YouTuber Why are you so dick? shocked when you find, find out that someone you like is an asshole? Yeah. Is like, that... even if Triple H... That's what we're talking about right now. Yeah. If he is an asshole, mm -hmm. I don't care. I like his matches. I don't know the guy. I'm not going to meet the guy. Not to mention. I don't give a fuck. In wrestling, you see a dude be a dick for 15 years. Right. But all of a sudden, it matters when you find out he's a dick backstage. Exactly. So when he's out in the ring, it's okay. 
But when you find out he's the same backstage... See what happens when kayfabe dies? Exactly. Because start... back in the day, people were praised for being an asshole. Mm-hmm. Like, they loved when the guy was an asshole no matter where he went when he sold You're like, oh, that's what I came here for. But then now that you find out that it's not real, now it bothers you. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, you would think that it's not real would be a safety net. But for some pre- pe- like for some reason, people jump on that more. Yeah, it makes no and sense. And it doesn't make any sense at all. It's completely logical. But, hey... People are dicks. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's definitely the thing that you're going to get from, I mean, week to week while watching anything. You can't listen to anything. You can't vibe out to anything without finding out someone's an asshole. So, like, how right. people are still shocked is just insane. And, of course, I understand some people have such huge allegations that you can't separate the two. Oh, well, yeah. I get that. But I'm talking about, like, oh, he treated person like shit one time. It's mm-hmm. like... Who cares? Yeah. But if we're talking sexual assault, shit yeah, like fuck that, you. you know, yeah. But but like the Ellen stuff. Like Ellen was a bitch backstage. She made me do food and park my car in a random spot. Yeah, she's a millionaire. Yeah, you put out a show every day where it has to be a little bit different. Yeah, and you have to interview someone, and you're not in control, and you got all these people telling you what to do, and you're the focus every exactly. day. Exactly. Tell me you're not gonna have some days where you're like, fuck this. Yeah, you know, like, Oprah's a cunt. Ellen's a cunt. Doctor Phil's a cock. Like. All that shit. You know those people. Steve Harvey is like the biggest dick in the fucking world right now. Right. Everything he says on his show is pretty much just shitting on poor people. So, like, how can you even watch that shit and think, like, oh, these are good guys. And then also, it doesn't seem like you're really going to make it anywhere if you're not a little bit of an asshole. Mm, Yeah, exactly. You have to have that edge. Right. So, it just doesn't make any sense when people are just shitted on for being dicks when it's like, I mean, you want everyone to be nice? Everyone to be nice in this world. Yeah, no. That's well. First of all, it's impossible. But if you don't have roughness or edge or, I mean, that it's just it's it's bound to fail. Well, I mean, I think it's just because people have sold the narrative that you have to be nice at all times, and it's like why? Yeah, you do fuck stuff. You do fucked up stuff to me. Right. So why would I be nice to you? Why do we it? want this yeah. fakeness? In the whole like turn a cheek. No, he threw a basketball at my face. I'm not turning a cheek to that. Right. He deserves to get something else to happen to him. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? He called my sister a whore. Yeah, that means that dude deserves something else. Yeah. Don't the whole turn the cheek thing makes no I'll fucking turn sense. Turn my cheek to turn around, and smack him across the face. Yeah, like, exactly. That's fine. Now, but... if you cut me off, sure. If you cut me off and I do believe whatever. that there is, you know, a lot of situations where you should definitely walk away. But you know, in, in, and again, in extreme cases, yeah. yeah if maybe. there, if blood has been drawn, legitimate blood. You turning the cheek, then you're just weak forever. I hate to break it to you, but you turning the cheek is only helping yourself out because everyone else is going to look at you like a fucking pussy for the rest of your life because you didn't fight that one person or you didn't stand up for yourself for that one person. And that's come from someone who didn't stand up for himself. So, I mean, it's just what happens. Yeah. But, true. you know, darkness comes to 1722 sometimes. So that's what's happened in the last, like, 10 minutes of this. <laughs> <laughs> I think we we killed Ty so he hasn't said anything. <laughs> that was coming. I was waiting for my intro back in. I was twisted off the juice over here, just zoning out, doing math. You know, math that did make sense. Never came up with an answer, but I was over here just just chilling. Uh, yeah, I don't. Honestly, I. I don't even remember what you guys were talking about. To be <laughs> That's I agree with what you're saying, though. Like, I mean, talking about extremism in all forms. You can't take too much. You can't take nothing to the extreme. Too much of anything is a bad thing. Yeah, like look at the people who. I mean, obviously alcohol, right? You take that to the extreme, you become an alcoholic. While I sip this, so, <laughs> yeah, that's you know, what watching me it. while I was quiet this entire time to sit here and sip this. So hey, <laughs> no, I mean we're all drinking. The man the is thing, <laughs> sipping on the same can though. He's not yeah. extreme about it. Now if you got up twelve times and had you know, well you see, I did. Problem. This is a new can. <laughs> if but people, if people are actually watching and actually you know attentive, then they've seen that I cracked open a new can. But yeah, anyways, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> <laughs> but like if, even with sex, sex is a great thing. But if you have sex 15 times a day with five different people, you're a sex addict. You can't do that shit. Yeah. That's unhealthy. Even though, yeah, I'm sure it's fun as fuck, but it's not good for well, you. That's why they say everything in moderation. Yeah. Even people, uh, what is it, uh, working out apparently mm-hmm. is now a thing that people suffer from who just excessively work out like all day long 
they sleep for like an hour, then just work out, then sleep for 30 minutes, then work out. Yeah. So, which I can't imagine. Like, why the fuck would you want to do that to your body? Uh, you're workout not doing in general or extreme? Extreme workout. Oh, yeah. Like, if you're not going anywhere, because obviously the whole point of working out and getting ripped, not getting healthy, but getting ripped, is to show off. Right. Yeah. Right. I so, think when it comes to that, it's all like a vanity thing, probably. Yeah. Like, you get addicted, like, I want to be the biggest dude in the room or whatever. Because, you know? you, like, it's funny to think like a bodybuilder. They have a healthy body, right? You think like, oh, they're not fat. There's no body fat. But what's the shit that they're putting into themselves to make them look like that? Mm-hmm. That's not healthy. That's way worse than the shit that we eat to make us fat. Right? Their balls shrink. Their dick shrinks. They're, they die but, but, by well, like 30. Saying, like natural workout. And yeah, that's fine. <laughs> not taking steroids. And yeah. Shit, like obviously is way more healthy. Yeah. But if you're talking like the extreme form, mm-hmm. then yeah, obviously. Yeah, we, we drink like 10 protein shakes a day. Like, yeah. And then you have, you wonder why you have like gallstones or whatever. It's like you're drinking nothing but powder. Sugar and powder all day long. And then you're lifting way too much weight. Yep. So. <laughs> y- y- your nuts can't handle it anymore. Right. Yeah. It's crazy. Shout out working out though. Yeah, shout out to our next vlog when uh, 1722 goes to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> now that would be funny as fuck. That would actually. be. Shit, I'm perfectly fine with doing that. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and, and But I just want to clear, I would not go into it and be like, okay, I'm going to treat it like shit. Like, I'd be working out. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm going to be bitching the whole time. So. We'll ask a personal trainer if he wants to film a video with us. Yeah. And he can put us to work and tell me that won't be funny. And I'll just be like, hey, by the way, I just want to know, when the camera's on, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm fun. But if you say anything to me off color when the camera's not on, I'm walking the fuck out of here. <laughs> so, because there's, I, I don't have respect for, or I have respect for a lot of people. But personal trainer are like Nazi level respect for me. Like, I don't have respect for any fucking personal trainer yeah, who's going to come in there. there. Yeah, they're cool, but if you're like, all right, you fat fuck, you know what, you don't have a fucking girlfriend, your mom fucking died, you gotta work this shit out, bitch. Like, those type of personal trainers, I can't stand, because you're just being a dick. You got that job to be an asshole. You're you're not helping anyone else. Tanisha, why'd you come here? I came here to lose weight! <laughs> <laughs> Man, shout out Oxygen, that's the best channel of all time. Uh, no bad Oxygen, VH1. Yeah, but it was on Oxygen, where I watched her on Bad Girls Club. Oh, and if you don't know what Bad Girls, Girls Club is, oh, okay. man, then you did not live in 2006. I hate to break it to you, but... I've only seen Bad Girls Club because of Ty's. Really? Yeah. Oh, I man. don't remember us ever watching an episode, ever. Uh, well, I mean, like, I don't think we watched it together, but I remember like you watching it. That was my... I was aware of it. That's how... Or because of WB Divas and Bad Girls Club is how I found out what porn is. Oh. <laughs> because I got in trouble for only playing the WWE games for the Titan Trons of the Divas. Yeah. And then I would just take the disc out once I was done. And then with Bad Goes Club, I would wait till 12 at night for oxygen, be in my room for an hour, and then I'd wake up for the rest of the night. And people were like, you didn't sleep? Yeah, I just couldn't sleep. You know, I'm just real excited for some reason. <laughs> but I only made it to watch Bad Girls Club. Oh, or 3 a.m. for Girls Gone Wild on Spike TV. I was yes, watching right? that shit for the fights. The, oh, yeah. The, I was the only, only reality TV yeah. show when I actually let them fight. I was watching it only for butt cracks and cleavage. That was the only thing. <laughs> and then when I got in trouble, mom was like, no, this is what porn is. Which made me think, you telling me what porn is made me the porn freak right. that I was when well, I was a it teenager. Wasn't porn because the first time you got busted, you typed in... Divas boobs. That's on no, 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 Google, so. no, no. But <laughs> I did. But I'm saying. But mom was like, no, because this is gonna take you to porn. And I was like, what's porn? And she was like, this is what porn is. And then looked it up in front of me. And I'm like, oh, so that's how you spell porn? Okay, I'm coming back to this two hours later. Yeah. Like you're, you brought it to me. She actually looked it up. And she typed it in. She's like, pornography. This is what the definition is. And I'm like, watch people have sex. <laughs> Yeah, I t- oh my god, sinful, my yeah. god. And then that later that night, I think I got like 15 viruses on your computer. <laughs> it did it did the crow shit. Oh yeah, the bat The virus, bat, when yeah. it would, it would bat! Anytime Blake opened the camera, or the laptop, that was all because of one night of me with porn. Yeah. I, five hours, just straight. And then he also got viruses on my computer that were porn viruses. Uh huh. And so I'd be like on Google or whatever trying to like download a record. <laughs> and then all of, out of nowhere, it would be like a dude with a huge dick through a pizza and girls sucking on it. <laughs> yeah, and mom would be like, alright, I gotta look up for something to chirp. 
Austin, what the... And I would just bust out crying. Yeah. I would bawl my eyes out. I would literally... I it was begged. always food related porn, by the way. I, that the ads were. I have <laughs> never begged. I've <laughs> never bowed. But to my mom, when she found out I watched porn, I literally worshipped. I, I was like kissing her feet. I was like, I'm so sorry. I'll never do this again. I'm a disgusting de uh, degenerate. Like, I'm like crying. Like, her. Remember, her socks had like teardrops on mm -hmm. them. And I'm like distraught. And obviously, you know, she whipped the fuck out of me or whatever. And then. 15 years later, I still want porn, but, so I didn't, wasn't that sorry, but still. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that she found out. Yeah, I'm sorry that she found out. What should I mean? Let's be honest, that's everybody. Mm -hmm. A lot more people would kill people if you didn't find out about it. Yeah. You, you rob more bank. If you didn't get in trouble for robbing a bank, you're not going to do it, which I know we've talked about, but still. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess in general, you don't get in trouble unless you get found out. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If yeah, you're not getting in trouble, you're just having a fun time. And then you get in trouble, then it becomes something. Sure. Yeah. Interesting thought. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's all fun games until the world of caught comes in. <laughs> Everybody's looking to get caught nowadays. That's what the whole world thrives on, I think. <laughs> yeah. But we're not going to get into cancel culture because we've done that enough. We just did it 20 minutes ago on the podcast. Oh, did we? Yeah. Okay, then we're definitely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like starting to get hammered. <laughs> uh, no. I wish. I have been hammered. You have to say, I figured. <laughs> I figured as much. I have been hammered, Joe. We but. drink, you know. We don't drink every episode, though. No. That is something that we don't do, which I am thankful for, because I cannot imagine us being, like, blacked out every single episode. Yeah. Well, I mean. Well, really, in general, I've tried to cut back on drinking. I don't drink nearly as much as I was, just because uh, I find that, for me, it's best to take breaks. Yeah. Uh, so really nowadays I really only have like a beer or whatever's here or these for a podcast. Yeah. But I don't really drink that much. Anymore. And it's not out of like, oh, you guys need it to be funny. You guys need it to talk. No, but alcohol helps you be more open. Alcohol doesn't make you have a filter. Like what if I, if I didn't drink or do anything before a pod, it would, it would just be boring ass conversation. Mm hmm. Because I'd be like, yeah, I probably shouldn't talk about that. <laughs> Everyone yeah. at home was like, yeah, it's still boring as conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Someone's probably just <laughs> snoring yeah. right now. Which is a funny bit that we've never done on the pod. I'm surprised. Well, if we had mics, I would do it. But obviously you can't hear me. If, if I'm snoring while you're telling a story, it's going to be very blatant. So, Right. Yeah. Hey, you win some, you lose some. That is true. And that would be our first t-shirt right there, actually. Well, we're working on our first t-shirts. Oh, that's right. Should we tell them the good news? So, might as well put this out there in the world, yeah. actually. Um, okay, so very exciting news. Burr, burr, burr. June 5th at 127 Main in Morgantown, Kentucky, we will be we will be doing our first ever live show, 1722, going fucking wild. It's yeah. going to be like a variety show, a little bit of podcast, a little bit of just absolute fun. Impressions. We're pull out some surprises. Singing. It's going to be very, very interactive. We want everyone that's there to participate and have a good time. And if you want to come up on stage, you want to dance, sing, you want to tell some jokes, whatever, that's what we're looking for. Yep. We're just looking to have a fun time and getting to know everybody so you can get to know us. Mm -hmm. uh, but with that being said, we are trying to make some merch. So if you got any ideas of t-shirts and shit that you would like to see, let us know. If you have a favorite quote or a favorite... If, if something Tyus has done, Blake or me have said or done, that's funny, that stood out, well, make it to a t-shirt maybe. So. Yeah, just let us know what you would wear on a t-shirt, yeah. really. Like, not, not doing hoodies, because hoodies are expensive as hell. But, <laughs> but t-shirts, yeah, we're doing that. So, be on the lookout. We'll get there to hoodies, though. Oh, yeah, we'll, we will. When I get that first 10 grand, I'm buying a 1722 hoodie immediately. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah, I was gonna say, even at first, if it's just for us, I want a 17 like you. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I cannot wait. Can't wait for this live show. Yeah. I'm stoked. But we won't go into it. Yeah, we'll. we'll we don't week by week, idea. we'll, you know, we'll. And then when it comes to. We don't know if we're gonna record it yet, so don't get your hopes in a tide, but, you know. It's probably. Possible. Probably. Well, it's definitely being recorded. Rather, we post it or not, so. Yeah. Different story. But Let us know if you want us to post it. If, you, if no one says that they don't want us to post it, then guess what? You're not seeing the live show either. So the people that are there 
If you know, you know what happened. Exactly. If you're not there, you don't deserve to see it. Yeah. Fuck it. I don't know where we're at if I'm supposed to. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And, and remember. 50. <laughs> oh, 50? Oh, okay. That's fine. Wait, fine to end it or fine to go on? Oh, I was going to say we can go on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, we didn't, we still don't have another DJ Fat Fucks Music Corner. Mm-hmm. Um, because I kind of forgot. Yeah. About that part of it because it took such a long break. Mm-hmm. Um, I say that maybe we work on bringing that back. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I was going to say we could probably bring it back next episode. Obviously, we're not going to do it with guests because that's just stupid. But the next episode that it's solo with us, I think the next one that we're recording is with somebody, right? With the band? Possibly. Yeah. So. Still waiting on confirmations. But we... We will have a couple bands here soon mm-hmm. that are coming to record with us. Try to get some comedians on the pod. Try to get more bands. Anyone that you know that wants to be on the podcast, send them our way. Tell them, and we uh, will get in contact with them and love to have them on the pod. Well, here's the thing. 1722 started off uh, years ago, really. Yeah. It came from everyone telling Austin and I, like, we like how you're genuine, mm-hmm. and you guys aren't afraid to give your opinion, and no matter if it's popular or whatever Mm -hmm. and that we would normally just talk and bullshit and people would usually laugh about it Mm -hmm. or whatever and be like man you guys really care (laughs) whatever you care way too much so because of that is why we started a podcast so if you're coming here you're coming for the honesty you're coming to hear about the things that you either agree or disagree with but you know you're probably not going to hear Mm-hmm. With people at work or your family. The like, whole point of us saying that we don't talk shit and or we talk shit and we don't hang it from nobody is because that's what we've done. It's not a, a ploy to get you into the show. It's not something that we say to have a face to the podcast. The face is us and the face will always be us because that's what we've done for so many fucking years. Yeah. If you come up and ask me about, hey, what's your thoughts on Trump? I'm like, oh, he should have got executed. And then I'm going to walk into the nearest McDonald's. <laughs> If you ask me, oh, what's your thought on purgatory? I'm mean, like, it's bullshit and it doesn't matter. And I'm going to walk into that Zach's place. We're just three very handsome men who are trying to yeah. convey a message. Exactly. Trying to give some people some backbone. Yeah. This podcast is basically saying everything that punk rock is. Yeah. Because uh, nobody has a fucking backbone anymore. And you don't need everybody to fucking like you. Yeah. You don't fucking like everybody. Yeah. That makes. Yeah. Let's get on that real quick. You know what I'm sick of? Right? The people who are like, I don't even like anybody. I hate all people. I don't even care what people think. And then they're like, oh, wait, you don't like me? Mm -hmm. Wait, this person doesn't like me? That person's talking shit about me? Okay, bitch, I thought you just said you don't care what people think. Mm -hmm. And I thought you just said you hate all people. So if you do, shut the fuck up and stop saying that shit. Because you do fucking care. And you do care what, what people think of you. I'm so sick of that fucking narrative because it's been here for the past like 10 years in America of like, I don't give a shit. You could say what you want about me. I'm just going to move right along. Yeah, you move right along to Twitter or uh, social media and then you bitch about it and you do care. So stop fucking saying that you don't care because it makes up people like us who really don't care look (laughs) like fucking pussies. Like I've been called fat, all that shit, and I laugh at it, or I just make a joke, or I make a self-deprecating joke, but I'm no way going to start treating you differently, or go on Twitter or whatever and start bitching because of something that clearly offends me. Right. Makes no sense. I think if you really care about it, then you would stop whatever it is you're doing. Mm -hmm. So, like, you could be like, yeah, I don't care, and then it bothered you because it was said, Mm -hmm. but that that doesn't necessarily mean that you care. It's just like, well, I don't get why they're saying that, but I'm still going to do what I do. Because, yeah. like, if we really cared about what people thought, you think we'd be doing a podcast? <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, like, we're doing it because we love it, mm-hmm. right? And people have talked shit about it, people don't watch it, mm-hmm. whatever, but we do it because we love it. Yeah, we've had people tell us, like, wow, you guys are doing a pod? Yes, bitch, we are doing a pod. Right. We are doing so, <laughs> I mean, in general, it's just like, if you want to do what you want to do do it as long as you're not hurting yourself or hurt well really hurting other people let's be honest don't hurt innocent people if you hurt yourself in the process that's your choice that's your choice but other people don't hurt other people Mm -hmm. but like just do what you want to do if like i I don't understand that idea yeah 
And like, it's getting thrown around so much. And it's making everyone believe it. And that's what's, oh, that's what's so terrible. Is everyone is just believing that, you know, you have to put on a face to be in the world now. Like, the, even with TikTok, right? You'll see a TikTok and it'll be like, this guy doesn't care. Or, you know, that stupid TikTok voice <laughs> that comes. And it'll be like a girl and she's like snapping her fingers. And she's like, I don't give a fuck when no one says And it's like, but you wouldn't be making this video if you didn't fucking care. Right. Why are you going to spend 10 minutes recording something if you don't really care? Yeah. And I know this is a complete eye, like irony. Cause yeah, it's I was like, say, now, you now it's sounding hypocritical. <laughs> well, yeah, but that's, I mean, everyone knows that, like, shit that spews out of this orifice is going to be, it's just a mumble of hypocrisy, shit talk, whatever. So, but another thing, I don't give a fuck what you think about what I talk about either. Whatever they talk about is on them, but anything that I talk about is on me. So I'm going to make that clear. Because I feel like I, well, there's yeah, shit that I, mean, I talk about that you guys don't agree with. Well, I'm just going to say this. Right? I've told you this before, but I'm going to say it openly on the podcast for <laughs> everyone here. Anything that I say or don't... Like, if I don't say something, yeah. it's because I didn't think of it in the moment. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not walking on eggshells. Mm. I won't walk on eggshells because I don't care about what's perceived as offensive and what's PC not. Or like. Or because I know deep down that all three of us are not hateful, Degenerate. disgusting people. Yeah. So if we're saying something, it's like usually, like it may be unpopular opinion, sure, mm -hmm. but we're not despicable human beings. So I'm not afraid to say what's honest. Yeah. You know, like a lot of people are afraid to just be open. And it's like, I mean, for the past year and a half now, or well, maybe not a year and a half, but over a year now on our podcast, especially Austin and I. Because Tyus has only been involved in the last couple months or whatever. But you and I mm. have been putting ourselves out there. Mm. For, for open. Yeah. For that long. Like, we're not afraid to, like... I'm not afraid to sit here and be like, yeah, Dirty Talk's my favorite. Talk about porn. You know, whatever. Yeah. Like... It's who, real shit. It's real. Why, yeah. why are you going to claim to be a real motherfucker or claim to be authentic if you're not going to be talking about the shit that's going on in your real life? Right. Well, I'm saying, like, I mean, people are just afraid to talk about things, no yeah. matter what it is. Like, even if it's pure, like, you're defending mm -hmm. someone or I don't something. Want to know, I don't want people to know my defense. Right. Like, what? It, it makes absolutely no sense. Yeah. If you're like, defending people something. are afraid to talk about race, mm -hmm. but it's like, okay, yeah, we're all, like... We're all race racist. Race and culture and everything is different. But that's what's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It. I think the world would be terrible if everyone did the same thing. Yeah. Everyone was exactly the same. Like that's like why can't you talk about things that point out that we do have differences mm -hmm. and like learn about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if you know someone who's like Spanish or something, mm -hmm. you don't know about it because you're not. Like you know like the the big things or whatever. Yeah. But if I was hanging out with a Spanish person and they decided to tell me something, I'm just like, oh, I'm learning about something that I probably would have otherwise not known. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of it. Yeah. Right? It's like, we live together. We hung out, or we hang out mm -hmm. all the time. We used to live together. But cultures are different. Yeah. Like, True. there's ways that Tyus was raised, maybe not all because <coughs> of culture, but there's ways that Tyus was raised that we were differently raised. Mm -hmm. There's ways that... Even me to you was different. Exactly. Yeah. Or just everyone in the world. Mm -hmm. And I don't understand why we've reached this point where we have to stop talking about it because it might offend someone. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's offensive to have a different thought. Right. I, I don't get that. Like, if I'm like, Like, yeah. if, if I mention something about a quinceanera. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Yeah, perfect. I'm racist because I mentioned something that happens if you if you're like oh i never went to a cantiniera wow dude are you are you serious bro you're fucking racist bro yeah like i've like, never went to one why would i yeah i've not uh, like i would yeah i would but it's not if i got the invite <laughs> no one's invited me to one so <laughs> yeah. like what the fuck right i also haven't been to madison square garden yeah but that doesn't make me a racist <laughs> does that make me a bigot because i haven't went to fucking bridgestone <laughs> yeah like what the well, fuck well i have been there no so. okay so yeah you're not a bigot you're not a bigot <laughs> right, there we go right. But still, it makes no sense whatsoever. It's like Kwanzaa. If you're like, yo, I've never celebrated Kwanzaa. What's it about? Wow. You don't know what Kwanzaa's about? You're a fucking piece of shit. 
learn about it, okay? It's I'm like, cool with you calling me ignorant. I'm here to learn. I'm here to learn. That's why I'm asking you what Kwanzaa is. Right. Why are you shitting on me for asking you a question that you're clear, like, what? Yeah. I'm asking to learn about something. Then you get, you shit on me for trying to learn about it and then refuse to teach me about it. By the it. way, you only learn through questions. Exactly. Has anyone ever learned anything by matter of fact? No. No. It's because you have to express interest mm-hmm. and ask the question. And because you care about that, you're going to learn about it. People are majoring in philosophy. You don't want to know what philosophy is? Asking questions. You're asking the questions of the human mind. You're asking the questions of how life works, how animals work, how plants, all that shit. So, like, what the fuck? Right. Makes no fucking sense. But we love you anyway. <laughs> Philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess we are harping on a lot of people, but that's what we do. We talk shit. I mean, yeah, that's so, that's been my main thing. It's like, why are we saying we don't talk shit when we always like, you know what, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything. And it's like, no, if you are, right, because then we pretty much we know, we we it, make the intro invalid. Exactly. If if you see us being like, oh well, I was gonna say this, but no, it's like, well, we we talk shit. I thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's what we're here to do. Mm-hmm. So just from here on out, just want everyone to know that like, not every episode is gonna be where we're just harping on everything. <laughs> yeah. But I just want you to know that there's we we truly don't care. Yeah. And like, we're just gonna talk. Mm-hmm. And if you get offended, I'm sorry. But I'd rather you come and talk to me about it, and you tell me why you're offended, and I'll tell you that I, where I was coming from, mm-hmm. and explain to you that like it's not anything. Like I can't control if you get offended. Yeah. I can't worry about who gets offended, who doesn't like something, who may or may not like. Yeah. It is what it is. Like I'm sure all three of us have done things that the other person doesn't like. Oh yeah, we're human. We're human. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Like, it's not my job to worry about you. It's not my job to worry about you. Like, it, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Just have fun. Have fun and vibe out. To the 1722 Podcast, new episodes every single Sunday on YouTube and Spotify and all other platforms. Hell yeah. <laughs> and with that being said. And, and remember, remember, don't take shit from nobody! nobody.